the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 186, to Kings 19 and Isaiah 37. Hezekiah, victory in the temple. God heard Hezekiah's prayer that finally looked to God for deliverance, which saved Jerusalem from a great crisis. First point, to Kings chapter 19 and Isaiah chapter 37 are the same record of the same period. The records in 2 Kings chapter 19 and Isaiah 37 contain the same content and are based on the same historical period and therefore it is beneficial to read these two together in context. When Hezekiah faced extreme national threat, he finally decided to go to God's temple and this record can be found in the two books. Second point. Hezekiah eventually found out about the truth behind imperialism and chose a kingdom of priests whilst risking his life. Isaiah ministered from the reign of Ahaz to Hezekiah, and he continuously proclaimed South Judah to stop relying on the power of empires and to turn to a kingdom of priests. Ahaz, however, did not get this and thus relied on empires until the end. But Hezekiah now turned to God and prayed for his help. Hezekiah managed to make a good choice at last. Hezekiah was now prepared to listen to Isaiah. God said the following to Isaiah. They told him, this is what Hezekiah says, this day, it's a day of distress and rebuke and disgrace, as when children come to the moment of birth and there is no strength to deliver them. It may be that the Lord your God will hear all the words of the field commander, whom his master, the king of Assyria, has sent to ridicule the living God, and that he will rebuke him for the words the Lord your God has heard. Therefore, pray for the remnant that still survives. Later on, as predicted by Isaiah, the Assyrian king died due to internal conflict. Third point, when Senna Cherif of Assyria threatened the final attack, Hezekiah did not go outside to surrender but went into the Jerusalem temple to pray. The Assyrian king sent his final notification to Hezekiah. However, despite hearing this, Hezekiah did not go outside the palace walls to surrender, but later headed for the Jerusalem temple to seek God's help. Although his father Ahaz left behind an embarrassing record of a letter he sent to the Assyrian king, Hezekiah managed to leave behind a prayer passage. Fourth point. God heard Hezekiah's prayer and responded through Isaiah. God heard Hezekiah's prayer. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent a message to Hezekiah. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. I have heard your prayer concerning Senna Cherib, king of Assyria. God's response was that he would judge Assyria. Because you rage against me and because your insolence has reached my ears, I will put my hook in your nose and my beat in your mouth, and I will make you return by the way you came. God also spoke of the restoration of South Judah. The reason God had protected the Jerusalem temple until now was due to his promise with David. Your house and your kingdom will endure forever before me. Your throne will be established forever. Nathan reported to David all the words of this entire revelation. I will defend this city and save it for my sake and for the sake of David, my servant. Fifth point, 
the death of 185,000 Assyrian soldiers is recorded both in the Bible and Herodotus' histories. God's judgment on Assyria, as recorded in Isaiah, now came into full force. First, Assyria failed in conquering the Jerusalem temple. That night, the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 in the Assyrian camp. When the people got up the next morning, there were all the dead bodies. The Bible records that the Lord's angel struck 185,000 Assyrian soldiers. In Paul Johnson's book, he referred to Herodotus' histories to come to the conclusion that pestis were the reason behind this incident. Josephus, a historian who focused on Jewish history, also wrote that Lech came and killed all these people overnight. Next, when the Assyrian king returned home, he was killed by his sons, with the deaths of 185,000 Assyrian soldiers, and with the king of Assyria being killed by his own son. The Assyrian military power started to rapidly decline. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 